transporting the child to a VWR. Oh my god. You gotta stay calm. I just need you to. You okay? Okay. You gotta stay calm, okay? You gotta stay calm. You okay? Can you hold mommy's back for her? There's something out there. I will die. I love her. That's all I have. Okay. I need to be with her. We have to go. I have to be with her. The keys are in the door. I have the keys in the door. So you take a shower. About what time would you say you went into the shower? It's not, I'm not locking you in the stone here. I don't know, but I don't, I honestly don't know. It was maybe like, like 15 minutes before you called, maybe 10 minutes. Okay. And I came out of the shower, I put a shirt on, I put my pants on, and I came out, and I saw her there near the glass sliding door, because I have, I had like pumpkin lights, because my kids, they love like the lights, and I decorated for Halloween. And then I saw like four, it was wrapped around her neck, and she was on the door. And my son was saying, Mikey, Mommy, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do it to me. I'm sorry. And he was hysterical. And I, so I unwrapped it, and I put it on her back, and I instantly called, and I was doing mouth to mouth while I was calling. And then I don't really know. I don't know how long we were doing it. And then they showed up, and then they took her, and then now she's good. Okay. And Ms. Pasquale, uh, at this time, you are here on charges of homicide in the first degree willful intent case, and also a second count of neglect uh, of a child with great bodily harm caused thereby. Uh, the court finds good and probable cause for your arrest on both of these charges, Ms. Pasquale. As a county judge, I am duty-bound to hold you without bond at this time. First things out of her mouth, Kristen's was, is that Mikey said that he wrapped Mia up. A couple of days later, alone, Mikey was interviewed by DCF where he reiterated the, the same story. There was no coaching involved. It was a voluntary statement. We'll just let it all unfold in, in the courtroom and let, let the truth be told. And as Mr. Caldell said, we'll let the jury decide.